Hi, this is Hannah and Pierre, and we are uh, doing the intercultural management homework. We are currently at, uh, in a uh, park the door. And as I said, this is Pierre, uh, my co worker. We decided to do this together because uh, we didn't know each other before. Yes. Pierre is 21 years old, he is French, he was born in Paris but currently lives in Lyon. Uh, but even though he's French, his mother comes from Peru and uh, he is studying in the um, International Business Realities at the UL Lyon and uh, he is a great fan of uh, sports. And this is Hannah, she is 24 and she comes from Czech Republic even though she did her bachelor degree in Germany, I guess in Bochum, yes. right? <laughs> and she's now doing the double degree in IBR, so with the VZE Prague, uh, University of Prague and the uh, Lyon. And she's a great fan of traveling. I don't know how many countries she went at, but she was a lot of time in France. And now she's still like discovering the French culture again. Exactly. So what we did uh, to fulfill our homework is that uh, we firstly met. Then for the second meeting we decided to do some sightseeing in the city. However, it was raining unfortunately, so we just decided to take a cafe. And now for the third time we are in the park uh, Tete d'Or. And it's uh, been a great experience. So uh, some stereotypes we had about the cultures. So, uh, I don't know if I really had stereotypes about France because I've been here like many times before. But uh, maybe like the overall uh, perception about France is that uh, everyone is very happy, uh, very relaxed and uh, everyone is very rich and very beautiful. Yeah, I think that's like what, what most of Czech uh, people think about France. Yeah, I think a lot of people think about uh, think this way about French people, so I feel like very flattered. But <laughs> uh, what I should say about uh, Czech Republic is I've been there one time in, so in Prague and I know also uh, some people from Czech Republic and I was surprised at the beginning that the people were a bit cold with foreigners so when you when I went to a coffee like the waiter were but not really nice <laughs> <laughs> just doing their duty so just yeah what do you want and that's for you and difficult to engage a conversation and another point that I could say was maybe okay I lost my words so. <laughs> no, I think, I think you are totally right. I think the Czech people are cold on the first sight, but then when you meet them, when you explore more about them, maybe they get more friendly to you. I think Probably maybe the too. people really yes. need some time. Yes, yes, like maybe they're very focused, like yeah, single focus, so they have the, the one thing to do and they won't uh, try to interfere with that task they have to do. But yeah, you're right, like the, those Czech people I met, uh, maybe a bit cold at, in the beginning, but then we're now very good friends and still like uh, one of uh, one of my friends visit me during the new year so it was like oh, very very yeah. cool experience as well excellent but we looked uh, at the Hochstedes model of uh, culture dimensions and what we saw is that uh, there are not such a huge differences between France and the Czech Republic and I would agree with that the highest uh, differences we saw were with masculinity because France was more feminine than the Czech Republic France achieved uh, 43 points while the Czech Republic achieved uh, 57 that means more more masculine and I think we can agree with, with this very yes values. yes yes uh, do you want me to explain it yes. <laughs> well I was about to do the uncertainty point as well never mind uh, <laughs> shit <laughs> Yeah, I think it's okay. like in the Czech Republic everybody is uh, really trying to achieve something. They are focused on these masculine values of um, oh, yes, yeah. to, be, to be strong and really to, to do what they have to do. And uh, while in France maybe people uh, take more care about each other, uh, not only about themselves. Yeah, it's, that's They're probably like uh, what I said before. Like the Czech will be like very focused on the work they have to do and just try to compete the best and perform the best. Whereas maybe French people are less like that. Maybe the work environment atmosphere is a bit uh, more important mm -hmm. and other parts like that. Yeah, this is maybe also compared to the indulgence because Czech people usually tend to not to uh, really care about their free time. They uh, don't maybe sometimes think they deserve it in some kind of way and they really try to focus on what has to be done and not what they want to do while maybe French people are really the opposite they yes exactly I think we like when we go to work the only thing we think about is about the free time we're gonna have <laughs> and yeah totally what you say it's also like concerning the objective that a company like a French company will fix usually have like a point to reach but it's not it's not bad if you don't reach it because it was just an objective it's just to some guidelines to an objective to go towards whereas maybe in Czech Republic 
like uh, figures of, so you have to get 10% increase if it's not 10% increase it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be a bad result right yeah, yeah exactly and also about the uh, uncertainty which is uh, higher in, in France uncertainty avoidance index is higher in France yes uh, we are not very flexible I mean in a company point of view uh, yeah we hate to it's uh, probably very obvious in our legal system where there's like a lot and a lot of restrictions but however, however I think that it was quite the opposite uh, regarding the two of us I'm very flexible I don't know if it's due to my uh, uh, Latin American roots or uh, I don't know just my education whereas you were like <laughs> very uh, not strict but like very you were planifying planifying everything and yeah a little uh, unexpected event could uh, be troublesome for yeah, you I guess exactly, exactly I don't know if it's, this is like really the Czech culture however I am a lot of like this that I, uh, I'm very organized and I like to plan everything and then uh, which I find is personally quite good however the bad thing is that when, when something happens I can't really adapt to that I can't be flexible therefore if uh, Pierre says uh, 15 minutes before the meeting that he will be one hour late <laughs> It's a really <laughs> very problematic for me. Why for him? It's it's quite okay. He doesn't really care. And yes. It's, it's it's okay. Yeah, that's yeah, so exactly what happened. And yeah. <laughs> well, that was quite funny. Yeah, so in the even, end, even though we think we are uh, maybe quite similar because we of course study the same, we had uh, similar backgrounds, like family and backgrounds uh, about their expectations to work us. Uh, we still perceive huge uh, differences between between us. Um, more, the biggest one is probably this this flexibility, this flexibility and stuff, yes. organization. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. And yeah, that's it. Bye. Yeah.